my son means more to me than my own feelings. So why am I now going to prove to you that I'm a bad man, knock you out, go to jail, and now who's looking after my son? And one of my biggest fears is me doing a long time in jail and the next man raising my son. My job as a father is to be impactful. It's to be his hero. How am I going to be his hero if I'm just sitting around just not making enough of my life? To be honest with you, I think whether they made prison really hard or not, that would have no effect on people whether or not they came back or not. America has the death penalty. People commit murder all the time. They all want kids to be to be slaves to the system. Andrew Tate's never been charged with nothing. Do you think they care about his views on women? They don't care about that. They care about the fact that he's taking all their slaves away and making their slaves think for themselves So we need to stop this man because he's got far too much influence over these children that are our slaves. They're our slaves and he's turning them into independent men so they don't like it. Quick prediction for your fight. Oh, he's going to sleep, bro. What round? Two. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Blue Tick Show. Opposite me today I've got my first ever guest who started the podcast. Welcome to the show, Ty Mitchell. I'm welcome first, back. I'm the first ever guy to come twice. Yeah, first ever guy to come twice. Same trends, man. They make you come twice, that's good, good for you. Making, <laughs> making history. <laughs> but look, you're the first ever guest and to yeah. be fair, you're probably one of the most asked for guests. Really? Yeah. I don't know why because if so, they was watching the channel, they go back and they'll see it but... Yes, yeah, whenever probably, I put yeah. up like ask me who do you want to see, it's always time it's time it's swear time. swear to you always. Nah, I guess. But look, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. You've changed a lot since we last met. You've had a few fights. You've got another fight coming up, and the guy I can't lie looks like a looks <laughs> wham. Like I can't lie, bro. I looked at I the picture and I thought, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I think he's tall. I think mean, I think he's um he's like stocky, muscularly. Um, looks like a lunatic, but I don't think he's that tall. I think he's quite short. You're still going to punch him up, yeah? All work is work, bro. Yeah. Big, Usual small, work, yeah? bigger, smaller. Yeah, there's a, there, you can look what you look like in boxing. You can look like you look like anything. I, you know yourself. You can look, you can see some skinny, squeaky guys like with like a proper childish boy face and they can knock people out for fun. Yeah. Then you get these musclers that look hard as anything and they can't fight sleep. So. Oh, fair enough. Makes um, sense. Well, it's all about boxing ability and it timing and stuff. Right. It's different. It's a sweet science, isn't it? That's what they all say. Yeah, exactly. It's not going in there, chinning someone and walking straight back out. And especially at the level you box that as well. Yeah, yeah, You're not like a little Mickey Mouse going in first fight. Yeah, exactly. You know this game. But I look, get... Ty, I've got to be real with you, bro. Yeah? For someone who, I don't even know what you do for a living. You just pulled up here in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah. My bro, what, how are you making so much money? Well, you know what it is? You just, I'm just someone where you can put me in a jungle with nothing and I come out wearing a fur coat. Do you know what I mean? I just find a way to make money. There's always a lot... There's that much money to be made in the world. If you try and make one source of income, you're not going to make it. So obviously I do, obviously I get paid when I fight and stuff. I've got good sponsorships, which help. Good, good sponsorships. So shout out to Shiba Saga. Yeah, the best crypto coin business. It's going to absolutely blow. Me personally, I don't know much about crypto. Yeah. But all I know is everybody that, my friends in Dubai that are all milled off from crypto and other people that are big in crypto, they're all investing in this coin. Right even, so even me, I even invest in it. Every when, when I get paid from them, every everything that I get, I just take half and I put the other half straight into the coin. So big up Shiba Saga, they're gonna they're really gonna blow. When's um, that out already? Is that launched? It's or? on pre-sale. It's about to launch this year. So the, it's the public pre-sale at the minute. So again, at the pre-sale, you're gonna get it for a good price. Um, shout out my boy Ryan. My boy Ryan, he runs an e-commerce company and he helps me with all my other companies. Um, and he's got a team of people, man. They, when it comes to business and growing, you, you can just have an idea, they'll turn it into a million pound business. Swear down. So big up them, man. Go on my um, Instagram, you'll see my boy Ryan and his brother. They uh, have a company called Change. So go and check them out. You'll see um, pictures of me and them on my Instagram. Um, I'm big up Bay Tree Cars, man. They're the only place I'll buy my cars from. Um, it's a car showroom. The uh, the buy cars as well as selling. You're always promoting them, man. I'll yeah, man. It. They're good. The, you know what it is? You can just rely on them and the reliable they're a good company whatever you need they will find it at a good price and also if there's any issues with anything they'll pop accommodating okay. so big up bait tree cars as well but yeah you so got, the, you got the, too many sponsors bro you're making too much money <laughs> i have a, i need some more man i need some more sponsors but they're my main sponsors they've been with me from the get-go so yeah big up them um and also i do trading so i make money online i do trading um, I'm about to launch my own trading platform, so I'm going to teach everybody exactly how I did it. I'm going to teach them for free, exactly how I make my money through that stuff. So I don't want to give too much away on that because yeah. I want them more to sign up to my Discord. So go on my link in my bio, and um, yeah, I'll show you. So look, listen, everyone knows, well, pretty much everyone who's watched part one knows you went prison yeah. for, what was it, what was it, manslaughter, manslaughter, was it yeah. as? manslaughter. 
And I had a lot of people ask, like, what's prison like? And I always ask every single person. I've just done a podcast before this, went prison as well. I was like, what's it like? And he turned around and goes, it's not that bad. Yeah. Is it bad? Is it not that bad? Because truthfully, what is it like? Listen, we live in the UK. So it's not like we're in Guantanamo Bay or some Brazilian one where there's like 100 people to a cell. It's not like that. So as prison goes, we're quite lucky in the UK. It's just the worst thing is, which will be the same in every prison, is they take your liberty away. So you can't, you've got someone telling you what to do when you do it. And, and see me, I'm not a controlling person, but I hate people having control over me. I hate being told what to do by someone. That's why I've never had a job. <laughs> can't, I just don't like it. So that was stuff for me, like, you can't do this, you can't do that, you do this, you do that. So having your liberty taken away is the hardest part of prison and missing out on family events. Um, I was lucky where I didn't have no loved ones die while I was away. Um, but I think if you had someone close to you die while you're away and you can't even do nothing, you're not there with them for the yeah. last days and this and that in your family, that would be things like that that you can't, do you get it? You could be living in a mansion. You could be on house arrest in a mansion, but if you, if your family can't see you and stuff like that and you're just there, it's, it's prison, isn't it? So, But as a most, this is going to be where I had some of the most peaceful times of my life in prison. Like, really? Yeah. You don't worry about the stresses of life. There's no stress. There's no bills to, there's no money to find to pay the bills. There's not really no image to uphold. There's not yeah, like the fair. stresses of life. You're just literally just there in your cell and you just get into a routine and you just, it's like kind of like Groundhog Day, but there's no stress. You're just locked up, so there's no one to stress you out. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? As much as people sit there and say like prison is hard and stuff, do you think it actually helps people stop doing crime? Or do you think it's the same shit, just they come out, it is what it is? I think it has different effects for different people. I don't think it's... Um, I don't think the courses work. I think the courses they make you do is just to try and tell the public lot we're trying to rehabilitate yeah. them. They're not. It's just like our, the stupidest questions. If you're on the bus and somebody throws, an elastic, throws a bottle at your head, what are you going to do? You're not going to be like, well, I'll tell them to ask them what the fuck they're doing, yeah. or I'll fucking slap him or throw it back or something, which yeah, is naturally I, what I people will do. It. I don't do I'd anything. They're like, I'd sit there, I'd wait 10 seconds, I'd think about my long-term goals and my short-term goals. That's all they want you to think. Is that what they want you yeah, to say? Like, oh, if I throw this bottle back, is that going to get me where I want to go? Like, you already know this before you make a decision. <laughs> if someone throws a bottle in my head, I'm throwing a bottle back at him. Come on, let's be honest. So it's just stupid stuff like that. But a lot of people... Prison's not hard enough. I think, t to be honest with you, I think whether they made prison really hard or not, that would have no effect on people, whether or not they came back or not. America has the death penalty. People commit murder all the time. Yeah, so right. if people are going to do something, when people are doing something, they never anticipate getting caught. They never think I'm going to get caught anyway. For me, prison, I, I, I would have never gone back to prison whether it was hard or not. I'd not been back, and that's because I wanted better for my life. Um, I've got a family that loves me and cares about me. I've got responsibility. And since coming home, I have a son. So I have a huge responsibility to be a part of his life and give him the best. Like, there's been a lot of times where I've come out and there's people, they've swung for me or they've even put it on me and this and that. The odd time, probably two or three times since I've been out. And I've kind of just let it slide because I'm thinking, I know I can knock you out right now. Yeah. But I'm not going to... Risk my feelings. Yeah, like my, my son means more to me than my own feelings. So why am I now going to prove to you that I'm a bad man knock you out, go to jail, and now who's looking after my son? And one of my biggest fears is me doing a long time in jail and the next man raising my son. Like, that there doesn't, it will never happen. So you've got to put priorities into, into place. That's why I never get, when people have children and they still keep going to jail, I think you're a waste, man. You've got kids that care about you and need you and you're putting your feelings and your greed or your ego before your son's or your children's. Upbringing. Yeah. yeah you know I, I mean? never, so, uh, listen, I think when you do have kids, I don't have kids. But when you do have kids, I think your life needs to change. No matter that's what you're up to, even if you've got to be broke, but bringing your kid up correctly, that's how it should be. Facts, bro, because your kids, listen, I always try and give my son everything I didn't have. <clears throat> He's got the best of everything. But he doesn't care about it, bro. Do you think he cares about this, that, and the other? He cares about me going to the football and kicking the pot with him or going yeah. to the woods and just for, like climbing trees or the stupid stuff. He doesn't care about design. He doesn't care about all these murder bikes and that boy. Yeah, he likes him for a bit, but he's not materialistic. He just wants me to spend time with him. But that's how it should be. So even, even if I'm broke, he's still think I'm the best dad in the world. If I could take him to the park and whatever, he's going to think I'm the best dad in the world as long as I love him and spend time with him and yeah. try to teach him wrongs from rights. But we always see that, especially on your social media, you, you show that you're always having fun with your son. I always see it every day. You're posting up a thing. Yeah. And now with you living in Dubai, that's your, is that your residency? Is that where you're at now? Is that your yeah, home? Yeah, that's where I live, yeah, Dubai, yeah. That was hard because, you see, 
me and my uh, son's mum split that. Yeah. yeah, me and my son's mum split when he was very young, like a couple of months. So I had him three days a week since. So from having from three days a week since he was like one month old, so I did all the nappy feeds, all the yeah, yeah. Nap, na- nappy changes, the nappy feeds, all that. To then, so that gets you very, like me and him are like this, we're together all the time, so f- t- till he was seven years old. And then to say, oh, like I was meant to go to Dubai a few times, like, I can't leave him. I can't leave him like it was too hard. But then I just had to bite the bullet and say, you know what, nothing was happening for me in the UK finance wise. And he doesn't need me to sit around and be a second mum to him. He's got a great mum. She does everything he needs. It's not like I was worried about if I go, then his mum's not going to do the job. His mum's a great mum. So I know that he's fully taken care of on that side. So I just thought he doesn't need me to sit around and be a second mum. My, fa- my job as a father is to be impactful. It's to be his hero. How am I going to be his hero if I'm just sitting around just not making enough of my life? I have to show him that, look, as a man, you have to go out there, conquer the world, be a provider, protect him, be a man and be someone worth respecting. Um... And if that has to, for a few years, means I get to spend a, a bit less time with him, or a lot less time with him, then so be it. But when I come back, I'm going to be fully financially, fully stable. I'm going to be able to be the best that I can be. Um, and I think he understands that. We're cool now. We've got it. Like We, we FaceTime each other every day. Yeah. I fly back a lot and see him. His passport's finally come back now because there's a delay, so he can start coming out and flying to see me. So it's not. it was hard. It was really hard. I got upset quite a bit the first few months. It was very hard, but... Now, alhamdulillah, we're good, man. So, and yeah. what is life in Dubai like now? Now, because I, f- I always say to people, going on holiday to Dubai and living in Dubai is two different things. Very different. Like my yeah. dad's eager to move out there. And He's in holiday mode, don't yeah. you? Know, right? That's what I mean. And I always say that to him, like Dubai for me, I can't live there. Yeah, I don't like it. It's yeah. a holiday destination to me. To me, yeah. I feel like you're always being watched. You can't do anything wrong, and you just gotta like. I'm very loud. I argue with people, not in an aggressive way, but like if someone tells me this is the price of something and I know it's not, I'm going to argue yeah. and I get shook in Dubai. Yeah. Nah, nice. so Dubai's not that strict. No, nah, it is, like, man. People, it sh- is. people argue and shout all the time. I've got friends that are like argumentative, like, oh, you effing this stupid, shut up, bro. But I like that it's strict though because you know what? I feel like I can walk down the uh, road freely with a watch on. Yeah, nice. I true. can. I know that there's just no crime there. Like, I, if I lose something, I know I'm not bothered. I'm getting it back. Like, I lo- I le- like I left my uh, my man bag in the club once. I had money in there, credit card, my passport, everything, and I didn't even know I'd left it. Like, I just was. I, I let, got left left. He's got so much money, guys. He <laughs> forgets. <about it>. Definitely not. <laughs> um, I just left and stuff, and then like it was a couple of days. I thought, where's my bag? And then I realized, left it. Rang up the club. They said, yeah, we've got it. Give me about everything was in it. That would never happen in any no, place no, ever wait. in England. But even mm. me, I left my. But I have a portable charger goes on the back of my phone, the Apple one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I left it in Cabana. I walked back in the next week. I forgot about the charger. I didn't just. It was the first day I landed. Went Cabana after I landed. Left my charger there. Left. I walked in. I was like, "Sir, sir, sir, your charger." I was like, "See, alhamdulillah. Oh, There's like, no place like it, man. I loved. I I loved Dubai so much. Um, that people leave the car keys in the car and leave and the car just, running with the aircon. Leave the car running. Oh, they just leave the car. Like he's like, I must have borrowed my mate's car because I didn't have a car at the time. And he's like, oh, yeah, just go and get it. It's in the car park. It's like, yeah, where's the keys? Like, in the car. Like, everyone just leaves the keys in the car. Like, all the doors are unlocked. It's a beautiful, nice place, man. And I think people are there to try and help you. The difference to living in England, I love England. Like, England's where my heart's at. Like, I am a country boy. I love living in the countryside where I'm born. I, li- I grew up in a village. And I love it there. And that's where I will live. Yeah. But at the minute, I do love Dubai. I think it's a very nice place. I like the way the country's run. They don't try and push all this sick agenda on the kids, telling them yeah, to chop the dicks off. Um, what do you think about all that? Oh, we'll get into that in a bit. <laughs> don't even wind me up. Um, so I think it's a very good country, um, but there's no place like home. But yeah. I do like it. But it's different to live. Like, I don't really do much different to there. Like, I hardly ever, like, go to restaurants and never go to the beach. I think I've lived there six months. I don't even think I've been in the sea. Serious? About, yeah, I don't think I've been in the sea. I'm trying to think if I it's have. It's too hot. That's the problem. No, but it was when I first got there, it was raining loads. <laughs> oh, Dubai right now is cooking. Yeah, it is, and especially back. when you're fighting in July. It's inside though, aircon. Yeah, all right, sweet. As right. long as it's yeah. aircon, we're good. But I need it to be hot, man. I got a lot of weight to lose. <laughs> Do you know what weight you're fighting at yet? No, but I know I'm heavy at the minute, so I've got to lose some weight. I'll make it. You know me, I lose weight rapid. Yeah, you're ready to go anytime, any yeah. place. So yeah, so yeah, no, it's it's nice that man. I like it. It's good. How long are you looking to stay there for? A couple of years, maybe three years. There's a lot of money to make in Dubai. I yeah. say that. It's Big dough to make in Dubai. It's big dough, but it costs a lot to stay there, so it balances itself yeah, out. Dubai is but it's good, man. Like, there's just, do you know what it is? It's the people love that 
you can I love people have love to help you and they don't think oh if I help him he's gonna get in front of me people don't yeah. think like that they're like yo I help you if you go past me hamdi alarm man is written anyway do you get it so this video is sponsored by Cranbrook Law an award-winning immigration law firm their talented solicitors can help when any struggles arise regarding immigration law they can help get you the visas they need they can help get you the staff you need from any other countries as you can see the website is on the screen right now so if you need anything to do with immigration law message cranbrook law and let them help you whether you're looking to obtain a sponsor license receive advice and guidance in relation to compliance and our civil penalties or take advantage of our know-how and experience across a broad range of business visas our talented and dynamic immigration lawyers are available to speak to you telephone numbers on the screen emails on the screen and hit the link in the bio if you need any help do you know one thing i love most about it i don't even want to go down a religion route because we spoke loads in part one but there's mosques everywhere. everywhere bro i when i was out with tam we're in the mall and he's like oh yo, it's time to pray mm. i was like oh, where are we praying he goes there's a mosque here i was like yeah. what yeah. and it's it's normal out there over here if you say oh, i'm going mosque they look at you a bit funny like, oh, yeah yeah but even that, the muslims yeah even uh, <laughs> yeah. You sure you want to pray? yeah nah man it's that's the beautiful thing like you always hear there that and it's just like it does you know as a muslim yeah it just warms your heart yeah, like, yeah, as soon yeah. as you hear there down it's just like but even when i come back home i said to raheem i was like yo bro i just feel like i'm not on my dean properly he's yeah. like no mike he's like you're used to waking up every morning hearing it going to bed going to pray it's different yeah, you it can't is. compete it you can't and it's also the people you with man that's what i say big up tam khan man i love that guy man wallahi boy that's my brother for life man like since i've been out there he's gone over and beyond to help me with certain things but as alongside that you see what it is he's when you're around him you can't help but get like not miss like my man praying regardless yeah. no matter what he ain't missing a prayer no, never, he never, does never. not miss a single prayer and being around him it, it makes you think yeah like because i was I'm, sometimes i think i'll just pray him up later i'll make him up later but he's not he's making them on but time even when we was in the restaurant we was in downstairs charcoal grill He's like, but we got to pray. Yeah, see, yeah. He's when he prayed in the middle of the restaurant, yeah, he, like, he, does, he, does, he was like, okay, I don't care. He was like, I don't care about none of this shit. I need to stay on my dean. That's it. Hundred percent, bro. He's a good guy, man. And I'm, you can see, bro, like everyone around him. I've I've never met no one that don't like him because yeah. you know what it is when you're a good guy and you have, you've got and a pure it's heart. Funny, bro. Oh, oh funny, gosh. bro. Bro, the way we would cuss everyone around us. Yeah, oh, we love cussing, God. bro. Me and him will be driving in the car cussing, but we're just cussing <laughs> each other. The moment. You know, when you're like you're taking a mic in front of your friends and you're sending shots. We do that all the time, but we do it so much like we're driving somewhere, we're just cussing each other. It's just me and him in the. I saw the other day. The car. Someone asked you who's taller, your tab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he Hurt yeah. by that one, he actually got he hurt. Look, and the pop, he's lucky, yeah. I put up a picture where he actually looks like only a tiny bit shorter than me. He's definitely about an inch or two shorter than me, the little midget. He got hurt. I swear yeah. that, I saw that, and I, I read it, and I, he was burning yeah. inside. He, he was not trying to back it. He's like, no, we're the same height. No, no, no. no but he's, listen, Tab, shout out to you, bro. You're literally fab. He's no. from the minute I landed there, but I don't know Tam. Yeah, yeah. I don't know him, but he's you so saw hospitable, man. He's such a good Straight team, away man. walked in, showed me mad love. Yeah, he's like, like that. bro, you're one of us. Come every day, text me, like, Joe, do you want to go out for dinner? We're going here. It's it's never turn up to dinner but yeah, yeah. <laughs> he no, was there good, he was there and his brother guy. as well yeah he's a funny guy Bad man yeah his sense of humor is the you see when you're around him yeah but unless you know him bro the guy is so funny but in that like you look but he'll do it when no one's knocking and he'll just do, it's just a look so he'll say stuff and oh he has me crying bro nah, he's, he's so funny he, he violates Everyone. everyone, yeah. Everyone. Yeah, he doesn't if care. sat at this table here and it's full up, yeah, he's, everyone's, yeah, everyone's talking getting it. And he doesn't care how famous they are, who they are, yeah. he, everyone's getting it. Yeah, he doesn't nah. give a shit who you are. He'll just cuss you. Yeah, Straight yeah. up. What, but you'll laugh at it as well. He won't, yeah, yeah. He's not rude. Yeah, he's not. He's just banter. He's just funny. Yeah, he's funny just as banter. Well. No, he's funny, bro. So what are you doing out in dubs at the minute? Obviously, getting ready for your fight. Yeah, so I've got to get back. When I get back, back in the gym, I've got to, I've got to do some uh, training and uh, some media work make this fight happen. Tam puts on six shows, so I'm looking forward to fighting on this show, man. Where is it? Where actually, like... I, 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 he told me the name of the arena, I forgot. Are the arenas Bad Boy in Dubai? Yeah, I don't... Yeah, they're Bad Boy in Dubai, the arenas, yeah. Um, so it's going to be good, man. Like, he has good people to come and perform. He has good fighters to um, come and fight, just have it out. You know what it is? It's just influence of boxing. It's so entertaining. They just go out there and just swing windmills and just try <laughs> and knock each other out. So it's entertaining, man. It's not like professional boxing. It can be quite boring when there's two equally much people. Um, but this, you should see a lot of knockouts. So yeah, man, just doing that, getting to set up this, um, launch this trading platform and stuff. Got some other things going on, but yeah, just... just Quick something. prediction for your fight? Oh, he's going to sleep, bro. What round? Two. Round two knockout, yeah? Yeah. I'll hold you to it, bro. I'm going to hold yeah. you to it. I'm going to play this clip after your fight. If it don't happen, <laughs> it's a problem. Uppercut. Is all. Uppercut round two, yeah? Yeah, That's sweet. Um, everyone place your bets, yeah? <laughs> Get your bets in. But yeah. Talk to us. Move on to women. Yeah. What's your what's your thing with all this LGBT squared oh, minus plus circles bro. backwards you're left right? Fucking idiot. Like you're so <laughs> stupid. Like how stupid can you be? Like, do you know what it is? 
It just reminds me of people that there was n- like most of them. They had never had nothing in the world, no attention. So this is just the way they can get attention. Ah, oh, my boy. Oh, I'm a girl. Well, you're not, are you? No, you got a dick. So how are you a girl? They're saying, no, I am. I feel like one. Okay, cool. I feel like I am a millionaire. Why can't I go and buy this mansion down here then? I've, I've got 40 million in the bank. I feel like it. So tell the <laughs> bank. I feel like I've gone get it. Go and get it at my bank. Bro, I saw one video. Yeah, you're going to be like, what? That they were trying to say that there should be tampons in male toilets. For what? To put up their ass? <laughs> they said because men need tampons. For what to put up their ass? That's what I'm saying. What are you going to do with tampons? Bro, the world's got bad. What the fuck is a man going to do with a tampon? That's what I'm saying. Like, and it's so dangerous. Like, just keep, if you want to be a weirdo, to be a weirdo by and yourself just, and, your and lie corner. to yourself, then fair enough. Do you know what it is? Do you know what winds me up? Yeah, is there's people that there's a general thing where there's gender dysmor- dysmorphia, yeah, or whatever it's called. People genuinely have that, yeah. So these people need help. These, like, you, like we've, before this LGBT stuff, we've seen online people think they're cats. People think they're this. Like, there's people that have, like, there's people that used to think they're babies. They have mental. It's a mental. Yeah. Illness. So it's a mental illness. Like people rather think these things. So like, okay, cool. These people need help. Don't normalize it because you know what's gonna happen. I guarantee you. Remember what I said this year. This is what's gonna happen. In a few years, people are gonna start identifying as 12, 13 year olds. I they're gonna this start on a podcast. Yeah. I said this two, on the two podcasts ago. I said nonces are gonna become allowed. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're gonna say I, I identify as a 13 year old kid. See what, what I'm saying? And the government are gonna be like, well, if that's how they identify. And how can you battle it? If you're saying on one hand, yeah, you can identify as a he, she, her, whatever the fuck you want to identify Because as. at one point you was 12 years old. You was never a woman or you was never a man. So they, it's more valid to say I'm 12 years yeah. old than to say I'm a woman because I've never been a woman, never will be a woman, but I was once 12 years old. But how can they... And you're not going to be able to win that court case. Because yeah. he's going to say, I identify as a 12-year-old. Year Nothing you can do. Yeah, I'll start identifying as an 8-year-old and start committing loads of crimes so you can't send me to jail. I'm underage. <laughs> True that. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, start, so rob- for it. Yeah, let's start do it. robbing better banks and yeah. say, oh, I didn't know that. I'm eight years old, mate, so <laughs> you can't, can't do nothing for yeah, it. It's, fucked. it's just a load of stuff, man. It winds me up. Um, and you literally, all you have to do is say, oh, okay, what's a woman? What's a man? And then, do you know what winds me up as well? Oh, you're a cis man. I said, what the fuck does a cis man mean? A that, cis man. man. That, that means you was born a man and you identify as a man. No, a man. it just means I'm a man. Don't you start giving me pronouns now. A cis man. A, that's what they call it. A cis man or a cis woman. No, oh. you're a sissy. Fuck off, <laughs> idiot. Get out of my face. Oh, it winds me up. Look, but I'm I never, I would never be, I would never be mean to somebody if they say, oh, look, I identify as something. It's your life. Do what you've got to do. Who am I to tell you you can't do that? No, but I just so don't I keep push my your distance. opinion on my children. They're my kids, not yours. I keep my distance from people like that, though. Yeah, because I don't even. I just think I'll be respectful to you. I'm not going to chill with you because I've got nothing in common and nothing to say. <laughs> and if you ask me my opinion, I'll tell you you're confused. Yeah, and I won't call you a her if you're a he. Like I'm not gonna you. I'm not gonna force you to make up your pronouns, and I should follow your logic. Or on Instagram, they Instagram even let you put it now. Yeah, stupid. Like, Instagrams. F- you know when I click on a girl's account and it says she, her. Genuine, I don't chat to them. Yeah, yeah. I that think you need to sort yourself out. Yeah, like, yeah, you've lo- a, you're lost. You've lost yourself. your head a little bit. Like go look in the mirror and realize what you actually are. It's actually a weird place we're living in. How? But in it, Dubai, you don't get none of that. Th- you think yeah, that's happening in no, Dubai? No, 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 no chance. Why do you think everybody's moving to Dubai? Because most, this might be in the media all the time, but most of the country, luckily at the moment, most of the country actually don't think it's disgusting and, and they don't agree with it and they think it's a weird agenda they're trying to push on the children. That's why luckily I've always said my son, my son goes to private school, alhamdulillah. They don't do that there. Do you oh, think they they, huh? No. Do you think they're going to start doing pushing all that on him? They don't do that. And we have a say as parents, what they do and don't teach our kids. If they're going to try and push LGBT in that school, the, the, te- the parents will go mad. Yeah. And I'm just going to take my son out anyway. I say, right, then cool. On the days you want to... Because I said, if you ever want to teach that in the school, no problem. On the days you want to teach it, let me know and I'll come and get him. Because we're Muslims. We don't follow that. We no. follow the law of Allah and Allah, what Allah says is true, not what J- Boris Johnson or whoever the Prime Minister bro, is. that LGBT... Bro, you know they add to it as well every week. So it's LGB, and then it was LGBT, and then it was LGBT squared... Bro, what the fuck? What is it? Are you a man? Do you have a dick? Yeah. You got a dick, yeah? Yeah. You're a man. You got a pussy? You're a woman. Now shut up. Exactly. I don't... Or at least say, yeah, I'm uh, I'm a man, but that's transitioning to be a woman, but I'm tr- uh, to, to look like a woman. Okay, I'm a, I'm a man, but I've transitioned to look like a woman. Don't say I am a woman. Or I just Because you can literally say, you don't have to look like a woman. You don't have to act like just a woman. Identify. You don't have to chop your dick off. You don't have to do nothing. You can say, I'm a woman. Yeah, that's it. And you're good to go. Exactly. It's weird. But I went into a pub the other day, yeah? It was, I was filming a podcast and it was a, it was called The Brew Dog in Camden, yeah? And in the back, they've got podcast studios. So the guy was like, yo, come and use one to film. I was like, sick. Went, filmed in a podcast studio. I was like, I need to go to the toilet. Walked into the toilet and guess what was on the door? Mm. A question mark. 
So you'd say, oh, I'm non-binary now, is it? Brother, what the fuck is that? A question mark. The world's gone bad, bro. Because imagine, let me tell you something. If I had a daughter and there was a trans man there... I, I, in the toilet with my daughter trying to take a piss or whatever, I'd go in there and knock him out. You're not going to walk in getting your curry out around my daughter. I don't care if you're a woman. <laughs> Women don't have dicks, you weirdo. Oh, it warms me up. Man. But that's exactly what Tam says in the podcast. He oh, was yeah, I'll yeah. kill him on the spot. Yeah, 100%. Staring in on the spot, I'll Sick, kill him on the spot. weird, pe- perverted individual. And come around my daughter trying to get your dick out, mate, because you'll be, you, the last time you get it out. But I haven't got a daughter and it's winding me up <laughs> like a rotter. He's sitting there getting triggered by you. Yeah. got a daughter. No, nah, but it's fucked. It is fucked. We could talk about this all day because it's, I don't know what the fuck has happened. <clears throat> but I put on my Instagram, a woman married the Eiffel Tower and then she got a divorce from the Eiffel Tower and married a fence. It doesn't even surprise me, bro. The people are weird. They've just got nothing to do. They've got no talent in their life. They've got no drive. They just need attention. And do you know how many people chop the dick off and then regret it after? They can't get it back. <laughs> can't get it back. He's gone now. He chop, he chop. Imagine chopping your dick off, but what the fuck is going on? Bro. I'm going to say, like, oh, men get, like, this is another one. Um, this man's pregnant. Men don't have uteruses. Yeah, so how does that part happen? Like, well, why go for that? We're better say It's a woman. That's transitioned to a man. She's obviously does not put a dick on herself, has she? So she's saying she's a man, but with a fanny. Men don't have fannies, mate. Idiot. <laughs> like men don't like they say all these times men have periods. No, they, put men, tampon, they, don't they want to put tampon. They want to put tampon in men's toilets. But what they don't have periods. Where they, they don't have uteruses. Where are they gonna bleed from? But just, just making it up. He's now. just gonna put it up his ass. He must, yeah, that's exactly. what he, likes. He, on his, he probably sits on his form anyway. The weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot, man. No, but that is why Dubai is good. I give credit to Dubai for that. Because yeah, that shit everyone wants right. to go there, bro. They love the place. They love the country. They love. They love everything about Dubai. I remember. 15, 20 years ago, I don't remember that far back, but I do kind of. <laughs> but like, they'd laugh at the West. They'd laugh at the uh, um, Middle, East. Middle East. They'd be like, oh, look at these backward Arabs. Now look, they've surpassed the UK in every metric you can measure it on. Yeah. They've got better food. They've got better economy. They've got better everything you can think of. Yeah, bro, well, hold on, hold on. The food. Yeah. The food over there is so much better than do the UK. Do you reckon? Everything. The only thing that I've ate in Dubai that's not better than the UK is Domino's the Domino's there is horrible but everything else is so much no, better I feel like the meat over there is a bit funky nah, I don't think so bro no way I think everything in Dubai is just so much rich in flavour here it's very like you just you t- do you know one thing you ain't got in Dubai a proper Turkish restaurant yeah you I actually really, haven't like when I went there I'm not, I'm not full about it <laughs> you know what that means <laughs> you no know, but for real you ain't got like proper traditional tur- like our food here you ain't got it over there yeah, go and set up a restaurant over there. Yeah, then. yeah my dad's. <laughs> he's out there right now. Is he there now? Yeah? yeah, he's there right now. Literally, he's there. He comes back on Sunday. Good luck to him, man. He, he does what he wants to do, but I'm chilling here. This is my spot. Yeah. I, I go to Dubai on holiday. I even said I was DMing you the other day saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to move to Dubai. But I was going to say that. I moved. Uh, when I come there that, for two weeks with Raheem, I lived like a half resident and half I was partying out there, like living it as a holiday. But. The first week and a bit, I was literally, we had an Airbnb resident style, yeah? And it's just, number one, it's too hot. It is too hot, man. I'm, I got out of the car, I'm sweating. When you put the aircon on? No, when I get out of the car. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And I'm, it's cooking. But Dubai, the problem with Dubai, it's constant lifestyle every day. Every day. See, it's not like that for me. I don't live like that. See, literally, all I do is I'll be in my apartment, I'll be chilling, do what I've got to do, go to the gym, go pray, go eat, go home. It's just like living in England. Then if I want to step out and do something over the weekend, I might walk down JBR Beach. I might go do something. But the thing is, yeah, I literally just go go do whatever I've got to do work-wise on the computer with the sponsors or whatever. Go to the gym, go home. I just live a normal, average life. I don't spend this and that. And it's just a plain, calm, peaceful life. But if you want to live lifestyle in Dubai, you're not going to live five, the last five minutes. It's too expensive. You can't do up life. Bro, it's too expensive. It's yeah. too... It's like... You can't do up lifestyle in Dubai unless you've got big bucks out there. Yeah, and big expensive. bucks big bucks out there is not normal that's like yeah, you've got to yeah. have M's on M's, M's on M's, M's on M's, M's, yeah. M's if you're like got two three mil you can't sustain no, you're broke. you can't live lifestyle you have to have like hundreds or tens <laughs> like, of millions at least like even if you've got five M in the bank yeah you're going to buy yourself a nice house you're going to buy yourself a nice car that's it you're good you yeah. can't be going out yeah, restaurant yeah, every yeah. night because restaurant out there is expensive. double Mayfair like, this is how you know Tam's got money bro <laughs> no, I was with him yeah um, for the whole of Ramadan this, we went out every night he paid if we went out 30 nights of Ramadan. He must have paid for the bill 25, 20, 25 nights. Like we was having to sneak. I'm having to sneak and pay before because he does not let you pay. So I'm having to go up and every so often like sneak and pay for the bill because he just yeah. won't let you pay for it. But 
Yeah, so he's bank. I don't know how much bread that guy has got, bro, but he's making. Gro- <laughs> Every night, just pay for the bill. No, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Bang, bang, bang. Bro, listen, nah, Alhamdulillah, he, man. He, Bless listen, him, bro. Times a sick guy, regardless of the money. Yeah. He's sick, he's sick. Like, yeah, funny no, he is, man. Fuck as well, Pop man. Proper clean heart, bro. No, that is the definition of time. Clean heart. Yeah. He will help even his worst enemy. I think. Hundred percent. No matter what. He, yeah. Like me, I went in that gym and I was like, "Time, I need to film a podcast in the gym." I was like, "Bro, what are you asking me for? It's your gym. Go. Yeah. Like, <laughs> open the door, go and film." Care. And I'm like. Thanks, but I'm still phoning him the next day. Oh, Tam, I'm coming to film. Is that all right, bro? Because you feel like yeah, 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 you have yeah, to yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah, of course. But he gets annoyed at you. He's like, bro, oh, stop, stop asking, asking me. Just do it. Just yeah. go. Go yeah. in there. Tell him you're filming and go in and film. It's like when I first come there, I was like, oh, how much is this uh, fingies for the gym? He's like, bro, you're my right hand. Like, you're my dog, man. Like, you're not paying for a membership. I said, bro, it didn't cost you. It wasn't free for you to build this gym. Yeah. I'm paying for a membership. He's like, you're not. I was like, well, I am. Went to the gym anyway. There's like, oh yeah, everybody set everything up. I was like, no, I'm paying. There's like, no, we're not allowed to accept no money from it. I said, just wouldn't let me, bro. He's just like, like, that's what you like, man. But Dubai, yeah. I think in Dubai, everyone wants to see people do better as yeah, well. Yeah, it's true, man. In this country, it. everyone wants to knock you down and fuck you. Literally, if you're doing better than them, yeah, they're coming for you. Yeah, it's true. Over it's there, hard to leave, bro. Yeah, it's, 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 it's shit. And I think over there, it's better lifestyle. In a sense, that you're happier, always happier, better weather, but it's too hot. But how yeah. do you not get hot? It's like 50 no, degrees I don't go outside. Right now. <laughs> it's like 50 degrees right now. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't been back since it's been like, I don't go outside, innit? I just go to my yard and go to where I'm going. Get in the car, drive there, drive from my car park to another car park. Inside, get out, go in the gym, go out, go back home. I can't do it. I can't do it. You, mm. you, you enjoy the bike. It's just like here in the snow though, isn't it? It's no different. If I enjoy it. The snow. It is what it is. It's a, the heat is what it is. No, nah, but bro, it's cooking. I was telling, you know Raheem, mm. this madman sleeps with their windows open. Yeah, that man living in them hot countries anyway, I don't know. Bro, I'm putting aircon on full whack. He's yeah. putting, opening the window. You know when you open the window, aircon stops. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. But you know what, yeah, I live with my boy, but my aircons are, uh, and his for the bedrooms Separate. are connected. Uh, are connected. So when he turns his on, it turns mine on. When I turn mine, I turn mine on, I wake up and he's turned it off in the night. I wake up sweating, I think, you f- Fucking cunt. I have right, to go in so. while he's asleep and put it back on. What's going on, guys? This video is being brought to you by Maurice Andrew Solicitors. As you're all aware, we've done a season two all about crime. If you watch that all and you're in any situation like that and need help getting out of the situation, reach out to Maurice Andrew Solicitors and see if there's something they can help you with. Remember, there's a defense for every offense. So, Ty, listen, you got a missus now. What's going on with you? No missus, bro. Single life, yeah? Single. In Dubai, that's dangerous. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I don't, I don't go out and see nobody. So, you say it's dangerous. It is if you go to certain spots. I literally keep my... I don't see nobody. Bro, do you reckon you can find a good girl in Dubai? 100%. You can find a good girl anywhere, but they're just so hard, bro. This is why I'm single, bro. Women are fucking whores these days. I actually don't <laughs> like women. Like, people ask me... <laughs> someone's like, are oh, you a misogynist? And I was thinking this the other day, am I a misogynist? And I was thinking, I don't like women, bro. But what is the definition but of a misogynist? What actually someone is that thinks you're better than women or you don't like women or you hate women. I don't hate women, but I don't like them. But you see that 1%, oh, well, them 1% deserve everything. So I just don't like most women, how they act today, especially in the West. I just think you're whores, you care about attention, you've got no substance, all you care about is star signs and vapes. Fuck off, idiot, man. What do you think of OnlyFans, girls? I think the whores. <laughs> but... Not, as long as you accept it, like, oh, I'm a whore, like, it's fine. Yeah, you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. If you accept it, it's the ones that think now, nah, like, I'm going to be... Like, you can't... It's their life. You can't tell them what to do. Would I ever even dream of making an OnlyFans girl my wife No, Do you get it? So, and it is selfish what they're doing if they want kids. Because they're going to be thinking, like, you know what kids are like here. Yeah? Especially in, like, secondary school. You know, yeah. a man's running your mouth. They'll be like, yeah, but look at your mum getting deep, deep throat in five man. Do yeah. you get it? Like, their kids are going to get bullied forever. And I see L. Brooks say something about, yeah, well, at least my kids can f- uh, cry in a Ferrari. Yeah, that was on Piers Morgan yesterday. Yeah, like, I let my kids cry in a Ferrari. They don't want to, they don't care about Ferrari. Do you think a kid cares about Ferrari? He just wants his mum, you know, or his right. family. Like I said earlier, my kid doesn't care about anything. He cares if I kick a football on the park. Kids don't care about Ferraris. I, um, I just think the this current day and age, men and women ain't finding good people. It's hard, man. You know what it is? For me, one thing I've learned is to find a good woman, and this isn't me saying that all Muslim women are good women because they're not. There's a lot of Muslim women that are tramps as well. So this isn't me, but I'm saying is like, there's, <laughs> they are. There's a lot of Muslim women, they move mad, they move worse than men, some of them. But if you find a good practicing sister, but well, you say that you could find a good practicing Christian, just someone that's close to God, yeah. that's practicing, and they fear God more than their own thing, more than their own desires, then you'll find a good woman. Because I'm also, yeah, we have to look at... To, to take accountability, we have to look at ourselves because Allah says good women are for good, 
good men and good men are for good women, bad women are for bad men and bad women bad women are for bad men. So we have to look at ourselves as we're not perfect, bro. You know what me and you are like is or how we can be at certain talk, times talk and stuff. For yourself, bro. <laughs> I'm I'm good. I'm a good boy. So you know, yeah, we're far from sinless ourselves. So we can't then accept Yeah, so we have to do better ourselves. So yeah. you, you, we, you get what you deserve in this world. You get it. So Yeah, but the women are stretching it a little bit, bro. No, don't get me wrong. Men and women are not the same. So there's a lot of things I can do and get away with that yeah. you can't. Do you get it? Uh, bro, so. I see women out here like, bro, in Dubai is the worst, yeah? So many gala out there and they've got mans back home and they're just, yeah, I'm single. Yeah, oh, they do that everywhere, bro. Yeah, you get a girl guys. from you get a girl from Derby. She come to London and say she's single. You don't have to go to Dubai, bro. All women do yeah. it, and I see this. Remember, I'm around people, so I understand stuff. I see how women work. Women are disgusting, bro. They act just like men. Worse. And the, yeah, and the difference is like way worse, man. They're so sneaky with it, but you can't out sneak us. Like we've been doing this for years. Like we we grew up like this. You get it, game, bro. You get it. Like you can't, and they just. Like they were just, um, you see the differences here yeah, between men and women. Yeah, this is another thing. So you know, women are ah. Oh. You see, if me and you are save me, save in our friendship circle. Yeah, if we've slept with somebody. Yeah. And then and then one of the man them's chatting to her. We're like, no, yeah, I'll chat that. Just yeah, so you know, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah. Women will sleep with and they will never tell their friends. Never. Their friends ain't got a clue. So they don't like they don't care. They just they, they don't. They've got no loyalty whatsoever. No, I've seen it so much. I've seen girls with each other, and they're all friends, but they've all slept with the same kind of, and none of them say nothing. I just think you lot hoes, man. I'd never let my friend catch feelings for somebody that would be bro, chopping. If, I, if my if I'm seeing a, if I beat a girl and my boy tries to wife, I'll be like, yo, bro, you can't wife her. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll beat yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, and that's normally that's bro code. That's normal. Cool. That's women done. they don't have that, bro. The devious women bro. they don't tell no one. She could be beat out by the whole squad. And she'll be like, no, I ain't so And the worst thing is, none of them know. Like, the amount of times girls will be there, and then, like, as soon as their man's alone, they'll, like, give them that eye and shit like that. And the girls, they don't have no yeah, clue. They think their girls that they're with are loyal. They've got my back. They would never do yeah. this to me. At least I'm not naive enough to know is I know there's people that I know that there's no way whatever happens there's no way my man would ever move to any of my chicks there's, I know but then there's a lot of people I think given the right circumstance he probably would if he thought he was never going to get caught there's certain people I don't I'm not naive to think that because I know what men can be like yeah, men can't true. control but it's about four or five people in my life I think there's no way under any circumstances would this happen yeah, women like they, I don't, I would, they can't even trust their best mate they're all disgusting bro no like me I've got three four friends that's my squad yeah. I know I could leave them in a room with my girl naked they'll look down at the floor yeah 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 but the rest of them, yeah, you can't trust them. Free through, they're going, yeah, yeah, attack, yeah you attack. can't, yeah. But that's like us as well. We do the same, bro. We would. Let's mm. be real. I, don't get it twisted. If it's my bro, yeah, it's different. I wouldn't even look. If it's like, anybody, if it was anybody that I, if there's anybody I go out my way and make conversation with, it's different. If I don't really know you and I just know you from around, you are my friend's friend. Yeah, well, I don't know you, but you're not my friend. I, I don't, don't have you no know loyalty. That's yeah. different. But if it's someone that I will speak to when I see, if it's just me and him walking down the street and I speak to him, no, I wouldn't do it. And I don't care how good looking you are. I don't struggle to get women. Do you get it? Like it's not hard to get women, especially these days. Nowadays. So why am I going to go and take somebody else's? I don't care how beautiful you are. It never happened. Or I'll go and ask him and say, oh, "Are you checking this girl such and such because she hollered me like is it cool?" I'll ask. It's not hard. But but you're not going to wife it. No, nah, no way. You'd never wife a girl like that because if you know, and I live by the motto as well, if you can take a girl of someone, she can get taken from you. 100%. No matter who you say you are, oh, I'll 100%. smash him up, I'll do this, I'll do that. Bro, you, it is what it is. Women go for what they want. That's yeah. it. We you go for the best option. What's that motto that they say? Men get what they what they can can have, women get what they want or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. Women can have the pick. Ain't, they'll say, any man's going to say yes. You go, yeah. This is what it is, yeah. Women, this, well, women ain't as much power as they think because women... They do get to pick who they have sex with. That's true. But but men pick who they marry. Yeah. So men pick who they're in a relationship yeah, with. Because yeah. women, and this is another thing, this is what I always say to women, yeah. They always get, they always say, um, how am I going to know if a man likes me? I'll make him wait. And, it, and the, the tough thing is for women is a lot of men, they will play the game until they get the pump pump. So it could take them six months. You can 100%. go on date with If they want to sleep with you, they'll say it two, through to the end. And you're never going to know his true intentions until after he slept with you. The only way to combat that is say, I'm not going to have sex with you until I'm married. But you know, I'll be real, yeah. There's been multiple times where I've been trying to get sleep with someone and I've sold them the dream for mm. months, months. But the second you sleep with that person, you find out if you actually want to make them your girl or not. In fact, instantly, a man knows the second he gets it, or the second she even says yes to sleeping with you, you know instantly, all right, cool. Do I actually like this girl or not? Yeah, yeah. And fact. women don't know that. Women think, Personal oh, he clarity, really likes bro. me. Oh, yeah, he really likes me. I ain't slept with him in months. Yeah, no, he's got one agenda, that's it. Yeah, facts, bro. That's why I always say, like, the best way is, like, me, even for me, I've abstained for a while now, and it's not because um, 
I'm trying. Yeah, it's just because I'm trying to better myself. I'm trying to see things more clarity. I'm trying to be more religious, get closer to my dean, and I just want to abstain from women. Obviously, I would date and stuff, but I'm abstaining from going past that because I just think I want a good woman, and I think if I'm if I'm still out in the streets, how am I going to get a woman? Do you get it? Even though I don't really spend time with nobody and it's very rare I would go and check a girl. Like, I've, it's, been a quite, it's been quite a bit now since I've been abstaining and it's doing good for me, man. I just see things a lot more clarity and I just think that's the way a woman's going to get to know if you're interested in her and you get, and you, and it's vice versa. I, until you've got married and you're doing nicker, bro, there's no sex. So you'll always know if a man's got um, genuine, sincere loyalties towards you because they're not, they're cool. Yeah, no, but in our day and age and especially in the UK, that's hard. Gee, this is another thing that's a problem with the sisters, yeah? They would rather you have sex out of wedlock than marriage. So marriage is a bigger thing than bigger thing to them. Doing a nikah is easy to do a nikah. You can do it Doing easily. Five minutes. Yeah. But that's that's more of a big deal to them than committing zina, which is one of the biggest sins in Islam. So where's your priority at? Surely you should be more scared. You're more scared of what people will think that you've done a nikah, but you're not scared of what Allah will think of you for committing zina, bro. Get your priority straight. When you put it like that, it's a bit different, though, isn't it? See what I'm saying? But women, especially in... Our day and age, you got, but you got thirteen-year-old girls having sex. Let's finish. The world's done that. The world's glass. The world's gonna end soon, bro. I'm telling you that the days are coming, bro. I'm telling you. But you got thirteen-year-olds having sex. You got m- men trying to be women, women trying to be men, and men ain't men no more. Like I've deeped it. Men, this is the problem. All these men are going soft, and it's making the real men look like we're nuts, psychopaths, crazy, narcissists. No, bro. My girl ain't going to a club. End of. You're mad. Like it ain't happening. I don't make me crazy. I'm a man. What are you going to a club for? What, to party? Or party at home? Mm. Go get your girls. Go to the house. Have your music and chill at home. What the fuck are you going to surround yourself by women? to no party. Do you think she's even allowed to go on a girl's holiday anywhere? No, I agree. Nowhere, bro. No you're way. mad. I you know what, what happens on girls' holidays. Man, I like... Some of my friends are like, no, I let my girl go to one. Nah. I was like, yeah, your girl's I, getting beat out. You, you trust? Now I trust her. Well, you can trust her. She don't. She she don't trust herself. No but I don't either. trust the men out there as well. Yeah. Even if yeah. Even if say yeah, that she um was dead loyal, this and that, she would never cheat on you. Why do I want her in a place where loads of men are going to at least try? And all her friends are hoes. So when her friends go there and they say, listen, when girls go on holiday, they go on men's tables to get free drinks. 100%. We, we, that's what happens. When I go to a club, girls come on my table. All the time. When and girls, I don't even when, drink. Yeah, when girls go to clubs, that's what they do. I was in mobs the other week, yeah, last week. These Obviously, the man then was buying bottles. I'm just sitting there watching the dynamics of everything. But the whole club... Bro, this is a God's honest truth. Will lie, may may God strike me dead yet if I'm lying. I went to the club. I looked round after the first day. I didn't go. N- I I was there for four days. I said I'm not good. I, I stayed in a hotel for three for the next three days by myself. Man, the man I went to beach clubs in the day and went to clubs at night. I stayed in a hotel for three days by myself. He was just there. I was just thinking. My soul was just rejecting it. I was just thinking, I don't even know why I've came here. And I sat here looking here and I was looking at all these women half naked, beautiful, stunning women, yeah. fair play. But they're just there, like it's, it's just like. You're all acting It's like, like a massive porn video. That's yeah. what it's like. It's massive yeah. orgy. Literally. A huge, that's the best way to extract it. A huge orgy. All they want to do is get on people's tables to get free drinks. And then and in exchange for them free drinks and that, they're going to give you some pum pum. Well, and then it's all the men them trying to look, his, look in as rich as possible to get them to get the most looking girl, good looking girls, then they can boast of their friends. Yeah, I got this. And it's just like, I was just thinking, who gives a shit? Like, just but go. Would, and there's nothing like having, making love to someone that you have feelings for. There's nothing like it. Sleeping with one of these random slappers, it's, it's empty, empty, it's you're cold, not, you're it's not weird. Gonna, you're not going to find the end of the hole. Everyone says it. You're not going to yeah. find it. Hole in, it don't end. It don't when, end, bro. I was in Dubai, yeah? Went out to a club. I don't drink, yeah? So when you're not drinking, it's like I try and explain it to people. I'm in a helicopter looking at all of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sat there. I was sitting in my helicopter looking at everyone, yeah? And you're just seeing girls who I know have man. I know them. I'm looking in their eyes. I know your man. And I just see him on a man's table and I'm like, you slut. Like, oh. that's my girl. But, uh, that's not my girl. If that is my girl, it ain't my girl. Yeah. She belongs to the streets. I see it all the time, bro. And then they go home and go and get back in bed with a man. <sighs> I just look at this thing. Mad. Like, I've had girls move. Like, this is another thing that's happened to me in Dubai a few times, yeah? And I just look at them and I don't know whether they think I think it's a good thing because I don't. <laughs> but they'll be like, listen, I've got a man. He's... um. It's good to me, like I we really got and I love him to pieces, but I just need a sneaky link. I just nothing not no one speaks to me, no one knows about it. And I just look at you and just think the worst thing that he said about it was I got a man who's good to me and I love him. So he's a good man. What more can he do? And you want a sneaky link, you fucking whore. Get out of my face. You little tra- I just look at him and just think, Where is your dad, man? Like well, that's And that's another thing is wrong with these girls, yeah. They don't some of them I've got no excuse because they've got good dads. But 
You see what? Yeah, if you're not... You see, when I have a daughter, I'm going to treat her like such a queen, bro. Like, there's no way any waste man's going to be able to lie to her. I'm going to let her know her worth. You're a queen. This is how you treat. You don't have sex until you are marriage. She's never allowed to leave that, move out. She's not even allowed to go to uni. She lives with me. That's my princess, my queen. I protect you. I know what happens out there in that cold world, and there's a lot of weird freaks and rapists and stuff. I protect you. Until you're married, then your husband protects you. But you're a queen. You don't just give, your, you just don't give yourself to somebody because they're telling you they love you, this and that. If they love yeah. you, they'll marry you. Simple. No, and I'm going to take that. you out on dates. I'm going to buy you flowers. I'm going to show you exactly how you should be treated so you don't have to go to anybody else for love. Because a lot of these girls, that's the way they get love because they've never been shown proper love. So they try and seek it in promiscuous ways. So... You have to be a good father. That's a very important thing, especially in the daughter's life. You have to be a good father, man. You have to be a good father. Yeah, and I, I, nowadays as well, there's so many broken marriages, there's so many broken homes, and all because of cheating. Mm. It's all because this woman don't want that man, and that man don't want this woman. And it's a lot worse for a woman to cheat than it is a man to cheat. Facts. And all these women are like, no, no, that's the same cheating, it's cheating. No, it's different. Because it is. Well, it's different. For a so woman to sleep with another man, she's got to have some sort of feelings or something. And if she hasn't, she's a whore. She yeah, shouldn't be married. But there's no way that... The difference between men and women is this. A man can sleep with a woman just because... No reason. He, Bro, exercise. He doesn't even think... Genuinely, just He exercise. doesn't think she's good looking. He doesn't have no affection towards her. He probably doesn't even like her as a person. He just wants and to he can just do it and it's just there. So he just because men are just they don't have no connection. It's just something, it's just in him. A woman, there's no way, unless she likes him, loves him, wants money from him, there's something there's something about him. Women don't sleep with somebody just because women don't yeah. do that. Unless you're broken, fundamentally broken and you're a whore. There's a there's a reason every so that's the difference between men and women. And women release the oxytocin. I think it's oxytocin when they have sex with someone, so it bonds them towards them. Men don't release that. Like, men, it's not a... Men can sleep with thing. anyone. Yeah, men can just, it. it's, it's just beat. So, and also, this is another thing that women have to understand is, men are polygamous by nature. You need to understand this. They might suppress it because they know that in the West, it's not acceptable to have multiple wives. Islam were allowed to have multiple wives. Most women, they don't accept it. But, you're trying to force a man against his natural nature. Naturally, every man I've ever met Every man, even men that I know that I've never cheated, every man I've ever met is polygamous by nature. If they had the choice, they would all sleep with multiple women. Women, obviously, force them against their natural nature. If he wants to suppress his hormones to please you, then fair enough, that's his choice. But that's like me saying to my woman, look, when you go on your period, don't kick off and have mood swings. Yeah. I don't yeah. care about you. Suppress your... I don't, no, 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 no. I don't care. I don't like that. So because I don't like that, you have to not be emotional. When you're pregnant and your hormones are up and down, I don't want to hear it. Yeah. That's exactly the same. Yeah, Imagine same how much thing. of a horrible person I would be to say, I don't care about your hormones. Suppress it. We have hormones. What about our hormones? And naturally, a man is polygamous by nature. So even, and naturally, a man, it's going to be hard for a man. They might look at other women. They might, have fun. They might not act on it, but they're always going to have it. Most men do act on it. And it, I know many that absolutely love their wives. They will die for their missus. They will kill anyone for their missus. But they'll still sleep because they can't help it. It's, it's just who they are. It's how God it, made they don't, them. They don't have no feeling to that other woman either. It doesn't, and it doesn't make them love their woman any less. Whereas yeah. the difference is, if a woman sleeps with another man, she does not. She's no woman that's fully in love with her man. That's good to her and fulfills her in every way. She would never sleep with another man. Another yeah. man will repulse her or make her feel sick. Men don't have that, so they fight their urges because their women don't like it. But really. If a woman was smart, this is how a woman becomes un irreplaceable, yeah? If a woman just says, look, I expect you to be loyal to me, but not faithful. So if you go and get a little side wife on the side, because obviously we don't commit haram, but if you go and get a little side wife on the side and you play whatever, as long as you're coming home, you're looking after me and taking care of me and the kids and this and that, and you, whatever you do when you're away or you go on your holidays, say if you've got a wife in another country or whatever, and you just whenever you go on your holidays, you do what you do, I, I don't put it in my face. Then she becomes irreplaceable because every man's you know got natural well, Most men as well, if you give them that option, they won't. No, they will. <laughs> I hear that, but as in when um, most men cheat because they, they can't, they're not allowed. They have that. Everyone they wants to be naughty. They want to just do it. But if you say to someone, you know what? I don't care what you do. Just come home to me. Da, 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 da. They'll have their fun. Yeah. But it'll be massively yeah, reduced. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they'll have one wife. Because it'll, it'll make you love your wife even more. If you're a woman saying, I love you enough to put your to put your needs before my feelings, you're going to love her and respect her even more. So you do it even less because you want to hurt her even less because yeah. you love her even more. It's, it's, but women don't understand that. They just say, no, I, it's making me feel like this. It makes me feel like that. I right, cool. It makes me feel shit when you're moaning every time you're on your period, but I have to put up with it. Yeah, but it's it? all TV in it. TV says one woman, one wife, media portrays it. was never like this it. years ago. Years ago, it was very normal for men to have multiple women. Normal. Normal. Even in here in this country, back in the day, it was normal. Every country. It's always been like, like Andrew Tate says, every 
every boss man in history has always had multiple women. Even to this day, what man can get if he can get any woman has one. But and the women don't man, care about listen, it. Listen, all jokes aside, I don't care who's what man's loyal in the race. No man is 100% loyal. No. End of. I don't give a fuck. All these men out there, I'm loyal. I'll never cheat. Okay, have you liked a girl's Instagram picture? Have you had. Have no, you let me tell you something. No, like, it's even with, no man tells us they're loyal because men don't no, like to men. No, 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 no. But women really think their man's loyal. They, I've known, I've, I know people that are full on affairs. Like that, I don't agree with. Like if you're having a full on <laughs> affair, a bit, nah, that's mad. Bad. You've got a missus and kid at home. You can't be having falling in love with other women. But I know men that have fallen affairs, I know men that do that, and their women would die and say he's loyal, he'd never do that to me. I'm thinking, no, he just doesn't show you. How are you going to know what he does? When he's not in the house, you're never going to know what he does anyway. Uh, so he just doesn't want to hurt you because he loves you. Bro, but whenever, women. Whenever I link men, I'm like, bro, are you loyal? And you, they all go, yeah. <laughs> and you can tell instantly, but no. No, no, my, all my mates are like. <laughs> <laughs> no, the only ones that are proper loyal is the ones that are super religious, and even then, most of them have sidewise. Yeah. So. But they're allowed to. Yeah, you're allowed to. It's her right. And you don't even have to tell your wife. It's none of a business. It's none of a business. As long as you treat her right, you treat the other one right, you're good to go. But mm-hmm. Mitchell, chat to me. I heard you and Philip Schofield are friends or something. I heard he was your uncle, no? <laughs> <laughs> I heard he's your but uncle. Like, but you see that, yeah, that one's. You see the narrative, yeah? They, they basically said, is Holly Willoughby the stupid idiot? In her, what's her name? She, these lot are just literally children of the Matrix. Like they, these lot are told what to do. The robots, you do this, you say this, you you push this agenda. But I couldn't believe what I was saying. She was basically saying we should feel sorry for Philip Schofield. You was bumming kids, so why should we feel sorry for you? You groomed him and then you bummed him as soon as oh, legally. I saw you put on your Insta. It was you or, or Tam about Andrew Tate and. Well, that's what I was going to get into. Yeah. So basically, they're trying to put now. Yeah, Andrew Tate's never been charged with nothing. He puts how much good into the world. He does how much for charity, this, that. He's not done nothing. They make him, they villainize him. They put him in jail for something and he's with no charge. Imagine here, like, you can't, in this country, go, you can't get remanded unless you've been charged with something. Bro, my TikTok got banned. Completely uh, yeah, banned. It's all against for him. one video of Andrew Tate. Yeah, it will. It will. I'm Go not surprised. Safe See, for saying? hate speech. See what I'm saying? It will happen. Sadia saying, I don't like Andrew, uh, Andrew Tate's followers are all against me. That's all she said. Yeah. Gone, safe. Account yeah. blocked. They don't care, bro. They... They all want kids to be to be slaves to the system. And because he's teaching kids to be stand up for themselves and make your own money and not be slaves to the system, he's too dangerous. They, do you think they care about his views on women? They don't care about that. They care about the fact that he's taking all their slaves away and making their slaves think for themselves. So we need to stop this man because he's got far too much influence over these children that are our slaves. They're our slaves and he's turning them into independent men. So they don't like it. Okay. But that itself, you've got a little weird, old, wrinkly batty man bumming these young children and oh we should feel sorry for him but then you've got another man that's never been found guilty of a crime ever in his life good as well and he's doing a lot of good in the world and now they're turning him into a villain basically you've got a man like Schofield he's not a man he's a a I don't know what he's like a little sissy boy and then you've got a real man and they're trying to villainize they don't want men to be men they want men in the eyes of the media Philip Schofield's a proper man yeah, he's a dirty little horrible rapist and I hope he gets to prison he's a pedo all jokes aside yeah it has come out openly that he was a paedophile, correct? Yeah, of course. How's he not in prison? My brother, he, please. Because he's saying that he waited till he was 18. But you're grooming him. You've been bumming him for, since he was about four, 14. Gro- you've groomed him. You should be in prison. If you're not in prison, bro, something's wrong. They, they love Batty, man. They love that. They they couldn't wait to push this agenda. They're trying to normalise it. That's what they're saying. Yeah, look, man. it happens. It you should fun. feel sorry for him. You know, you should feel sorry for his wife and kids that he's been bumming this man and then going and sleeping with his missus with that same stinky Corey. That's what you need to feel sorry for. You weird little <laughs> wicked Batty, man. And keep that in as well. I don't care if he's homophobic, Chichi man. <laughs> chichi man. And on that note, thank you for coming on the show, my brother. It's been eventful. I'll see you again soon.